it, it feels good to be to be back here. Um, I'm here to tell you a little bit about Walkmore. Um, my name is Ali Mohammed. I am uh, the the founder of Walkmore, and we provide uh, big data analytics for financial institutions. Um, and so, at in 2012, I had a, an amazing team here uh, at uh, Singularity University, and what really brought us together was we had a really big passion for solving healthcare and solving fi finance, and especially uh, co consumer finance. Um, and so we started with, with one hypothesis, which was that uh, the healthier you are, the better financial decisions you make. And you know, if you think about it intuitively, it makes sense, but of course we wanted to, to test it. And then with uh, a lot of help of, uh, from, from Singularity University, we got in touch with, uh, with credit unions. Um, we extracted their transactional data. Uh, we talked to their members. We extracted their uh, physical activity data. And then beyond any doubt, we were able to prove that in fact the hypothesis was true. The healthier you are, the better financial deci decisions you make. And, uh, and here's the kicker, okay? We were also able to predict individual financial decisions based on physical activity alone. So that's where we got really excited uh, and went back to talk to the credit unions and said, you know, and by, by uh, financial decisions, I mean, you know, will a person be able to pay off their loan? Will, will a person be able to, uh, you know, pay off a, a credit card? Um, what their financial behavior is going to be related to a, a specific financial product? Uh, and so we went back to the, to the credit unions and said, you know, what, what do we do about it? And they got really excited, uh, and soon I'll tell you why. But first, let me give you a, a lay of the land, okay? So there's, there's 14,000 credit unions uh, in the states, uh, and uh, credit unions and community banks, and that is 97% of all financial institutions. It's 30% of the whole financial market, okay? So it is a niche market, but it's, it's really substantial. They're serving 200 million people, and believe it or not, only 3% of them use some kind of data analytics. That means that 97% of them do not know what their members and what their customers are doing. They do not, they don't make decisions, lending decisions, for example, based on actual real data. Um, and the 3% the that are actually using, they're paying more than 100,000 a year. Uh, so that is not really what smaller credit unions or medium-sized credit unions and community banks can, can afford. Uh, you need three months to implement these uh, big legacy uh, enterprise software solutions. You need, you know, to train 30 people. You need, um, uh, you need three months to, to actually implement this. And you have all these developers working around your credit union or your, your bank uh, trying to implement that. So we can definitely say that uh, big data analytics is perceived as way too expensive and resource consuming for uh, most financial institutions. So what we did is we built a... Uh, uh, a big data uh, analytics platform based on the initial algorithms that we developed. So taking into consideration not only transactional data, but also health or physical activity data. And we made it super simple to, uh, I mean, it's, it's called the green box, okay? You, you actually get a green box in the mail and it's a, it's a in the green box, there's a, a green uh, flash drive and you just stick it in a computer and it runs. You, imp you, you click on upload transactional data, you upload your transactional data, click run, and you get the results within 30 days. So um, it's, it's completely standalone, the training is five minutes, I do a demo and they get it. So, um, so what we really do, what, what that really does is we can do three things really, really well, and that is we uh, improve credit scoring really substantially. You all know that the FICO score is not good, it's not good at all. We improve on every single uh, credit score, uh, credit, basically credit score. Um, we also shift customers to more profitable clusters uh, by product through product recommendations. We just know which products are better for them that they can pay pay off, and that there's a win situation between the financial institution and 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 the individual. And also, uh, which is a golden goose, we can predict uh, customers' individual financial decision making, uh, and that's. Again, you know whether they, they're going to pay off the loan or what they are they're going to do uh, in a it's in a in an amount of time. Will they you know what their income is going to be uh, and so on and so on. So let's jump to the, the results. Okay, 
this is what I'm really excited about. Um, we uh, we went back to uh, to the credit unions. Uh, we partnered with Filene, which is a research institute backed by 160 credit unions. These guys went really, uh, you know, they were really excited about the, uh, what we were able to achieve so far, and they said, you have to partner with the, the National Credit Union Roundtable uh, and implement this as as a pilot project. So we did 500,000 people, five credit unions from the U.S. and Canada, um, and uh, we analyzed 250 million transactions. And these were the results, 15% lower uh, loan delinquencies and 10% increase in revenues across the board. And it doesn't matter if it's a small credit union, large credit union, whether they have uh, already implemented big data solutions or not. Uh, this is just a, a recent example. Uh, we just launched with GTE Financial in Tampa in Florida. Uh, we're going to make them a lot of money just by implementing uh, these algorithms that we have so far. And we're constantly improving them, of course. Uh, I told you a little bit about the market, uh, about 14,000 credit unions, community banks, basically just applying the numbers that we have so far uh, and assuming a 20% market share, uh, we, get to, uh, we get to 110 million by, the, by year number three. Um, the business model is going to evolve. We're not going to stay only in the financial sector, of course. It makes sense to move to insurers. Uh, you, you heard uh, from Lowe's and from Coke, uh, for example, uh, today. Uh, they're they're moving into other uh, areas as well. Uh, they're going to be moving into financials. Just wait and see. And I uh, think this is a, a big giant that is just sleeping right now uh, and is just, get, get, uh, is just uh, waking up. Um, we are mainly working through channel partners because it just it makes sense. Uh, it's much, much faster. Um, we have all these channel part partners here. These are our current clients and, and uh, uh, previous clients. But also, I, I love this number right here. Within 12 months, we were able to affect a million people, positively affect a million people. I'm really, really happy about that. Uh, we have a great team. Um, my, background is, uh, my background is management consulting. I built a management consulting firm in Croatia. It's now the biggest management consulting firm in the Western Balkans. Um, uh, Co-founded the Google Lunar X Prize team. Uh, worked for the European Commission. Uh, Carlo, Carlo is the guy who built stuff in the team. Uh, he's, the, he's the coder, he's the, he's the hacker. He worked for Flock uh, Advertising, uh, one of the biggest uh, advertising agencies in, uh, in, in uh, Latin America, uh, and just built a lot of digital products for Coke and Nike and uh, such uh, companies. We have developers in four countries right now, just signed a contract with Rocker Labs for, uh, for data science. Uh, it's a team in, in Miami. Uh, really happy about the, the advisory team because we're lucky to have Peter Kellner on board, who uh, many of you may know. Uh, he's a well-known VC from, uh, from New York. Uh, he is a co-founder of Endeavor Global. Uh, you know, had an exit, for the, his first exit was with a quantum of, of $2 billion, uh, early investor in Salesforce. And then Brent and Brian, who are really the industry insiders, they're also perceived as uh, um, really someone who you, who you go to for new technologies in the industry. Um, and then, uh, um, so if you look at, th at this slide, uh, you can see that we basically have almost all the benefits and almost none of the faults of the, almost none of the faults of the, of the competitors. Just wanted to remind you that our, uh, the, the results that you see here are e even when applied to the data that was already processed by some of the competitors. So that's, that's pretty good. Um, we're raising, um, so we're raising 800,000 uh, at a, a 5 million pre-money. Uh, it's a standard preferred and we, we have 300,000 uh, committed. We're going to close uh, in three weeks. Um, and yeah, would love to talk to you about it. Thank you very much.